it's been roughly 24 hours since I installed the COTX in-house developed filter on one of my hotspots. Uh, just before you start though, I'd like to point out some very positive news, which is the Helium network token is up over 7% today. Um, and you know, it's been on a general uptrend over the last few days, which is very good considering Bitcoin itself has been very range bound uh, for the last few weeks now. Um, some of the other alts that are that I'm watching her are also also rallying, and you know I'll speak more about that in a separate video, which is not to do with an update on the filter. So the the filter that was sent to me, um, I took it apart in my last video, and you could see that th this was the this was the entirety of it, and lots of people were saying, oh, you know that looks exactly like the AliExpress filter, and they're right, in a sense. It is very similar to the AliExpress filter that other people have been buying. However, the the main difference is you can see the connectors. There's an SMA female and an SMA male on this AliExpress filter. But for the COTX, um, as I pointed out in my other video, there are RP SMA male and RP SMA female connectors, which means that you don't need to use any adapters between the COTX minor and the filter. So, you know, you reduce maybe 0.5 or 1 dB of loss because each adapter theoretically can lose you 0.5 dB. Um, so that's, you know, one small plus side. The not so good is potentially when you think about the timeline it takes for COTX to finish testing and develop the filter and send it out to people um, who want to buy it. And they have said they're going to sell it. They're not going to send them out for free. Um, you know, is it worth you waiting the many weeks for that to happen? Or are you better off just ordering directly from AliExpress? Funnily enough, I've actually ordered this one from AliExpress as well. So I'll probably do a test of this alongside this EOTX one um, and then update in a in a separate video. In terms of the, the hotspot that I had um, installed the filter on, I've just I've just got it on um, Helium Helium Tracker here. And you can see it's had a bunch of beacons come in. I installed it yesterday uh, around this time. So I installed it at half four in the afternoon yesterday. And you can see there's a gap of a few hours before it started beaconing uh, again. And you can see there's a stream of beacons there for us to, um, to analyze. And the question that's on everyone's mind is, does it work? And unfortunately, the answer is, I don't think so. Because if you look at the earnings, it's minus 8% from yesterday in that 24 hour period. So, you know, this filter versus the last 24 hours um, is not made a difference. If anything, it's slightly worse. So, and this is to earnings. Now, obviously we have other issues to, to look at such as peer-to-peer -peer issues um, and we know Helium as a network ebbs and flows in earnings but on the initial 24-hour period after the installation of the filter unfortunately um, I'm gonna have to say the earnings haven't made a difference uh, I really hope it does in the, in the in the coming days but it's not looking good I take a look at some beacons before the filter so two different hotspots this one is called Hot Emerald Beaver which is in the same hexagon and then this one is called Broad Hot Pink Giffin, and that's, you know, 910 meters away. What, sh what struck me in as interesting, and I think I need to do more analysis, I need to speak to COTX about this. Um, so before, if you have a look at the uh, SNR reading um, and the RSSI reading, you can see that after the filter, the RSSI has got weaker in this beacon and is the same um, f uh, for this one and the SNR has got worse for this beacon but has got better for this one um, and that's interesting because you know they they're not consistent and the only thing I can think of is maybe it's got something to do with the time of day so this is 6 51 p.m so you know peak time everyone's up probably if there is interference from GSM and 
mobile phone towers, this is where it, this is where it'll probably be the highest. If you look at when this beacon happened, it's five a.m. and that's one a.m. So you know it's in the early hours of the morning. Potentially, that could be something to investigate, and maybe that's why you know the SNR is better, um, and the RSSI is better at this time. And so we can do look look at another one. Um, again, so this one is called Broad Hot Pink Griffin, nine and ten meters away. On this one, the RSSI. Again, I don't understand, and maybe some of you can leave some comments or we can start a discussion regarding this. Um, so before the filter, we had RSSI of 107, and after the filter, you know, the signal has got weaker, and you can kind of understand that because the filter is supposed to have some loss, but that's, you know, a 5 dB, dBm loss. And then the SNR has got much worse as well. So... Um, I'm interested to f figure out why. I need to have a look into that. One thing I did notice is this this one, when the SNR was somewhat better, you could see it had a full 18 witnesses. This one, um, you know, again, 6 p.m., probably peak time, SNR was worse, and you can see it's only actually had 13 uh, witnesses. So this one didn't max out the 18 witnesses that Helium currently will allow per beacon. So something something interesting to look at. Um, and another thing which I'm finding quite annoying is um, the fact that, you know, there's often, there's like, you know, a two hour gap between these two beacons and you've got one in the last hour or so. Um, and then sometimes if you're lucky, you get two per hour. And then, you know, maybe a gap, you've got two there, three per hour there. Um, yet some other manufacturers like SenseCaps, they seem to be getting, you know, multiple per hour. And I just want to know what they're doing and how we can get to that stage. So for example, this one in Belgium, this is the one that, you know, everyone has as the benchmark. If you look at the activity that this one is doing, this one is, you know, arguably one of the best hotspots that CO, that, and I don't know what they're doing, but this is arguably one of the best hotspots out there. And you know, they're they're seeing beacons every few minutes. Look look at look at just look at this. This is crazy. That's that's three in the space of one minute. Um and that also exp probably explains why this person is earning two and a half HNT, it's just hundred and ten dollars per twenty-four hours. And they've been doing this for the last thirty days, and they've made three thousand three hundred and fifty dollars almost from one from one hotspot um and you know if we can get anywhere near this it would be amazing but clearly there's something very different going on with this hotspot than with the ones that the rest of us have um you know i know my transmit scale is awful but this is my the one at my house and this is the one i have regular access to and therefore can test but you know my earnings are appalling <laughs> um so hopefully we can try and fix some of this and strangely, you know, depending on who you ask, there are people who are, you know, whinging that COTX are not providing you with enough earnings and, you know, every, everyone's got issues. You know, I know Hell, Helltech has issues and depending on which Discord you go to, you know, it's all it's all quite negative. But strangely, if I look at this, um, this DWE tracker of average rewards per day by maker, if you look at COTX, they're actually not bad. They're somewhat consistent, and they I would say above all the makers, they're you know, they're in the top top five. Um, so I, I don't 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 know if it's these Belgian COTXs that are really bringing the average up, or if you know you're just surrounded in a shroud of negativity in the Discord. But you know that's that's something to try and figure out. Um, obviously, it looks it looks like. Uh, Right now, the best ones are Long AP. I don't know who this control controlino people are. Sense caps I've heard are very good, and I'm gonna get some in January. So, well, at the end of this month. So hopefully we can do some testing between COTX and uh, Sense caps in the exact same setup. And then Links dot also seem to be doing quite well. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, if you found this useful and if you want to stay up to date with my miners and anything related to crypto. Uh, please subscribe and I'll see you next time.